Hey everyone, it's Dr. Romani. This is sort of a random one, but an observation that came from a couple things I'd read and had talked about. Have you ever seen a narcissistic person in court? Interestingly, they don't have a very easy time there. And let's break down why do narcissistic people have such a tough time when they have to be, when they have to show up in court. This is something that is more of a low frequency event that may happen to people. Now, in uh, what's, what sort of inspired this video is I was reading about a particularly narcissistic dude who was in court facing various charges recently. And this was a person who was very clearly very used to getting his way and not following the rules. And court has rules, right? Court has rules. You have to sit down. You don't speak unless given permission. You can't yell, curse, throw tantrums. The judge is the ultimate authority in that room. What's interesting is that narcissistic people end up in court more than the average bear. They love to sue people, so obviously that can end them up in court. Their divorces are messy and chaotic, so that can also end them up in court. They are more likely to be aggressive, violent, break the law, more court. They're more likely to have restraining orders, I'm guessing, probably put against them. That might be more court. So while it can seem that they are never held accountable, they do do more bad things. They do create more messes. And that can mean that they do probably end up in courtroom settings more than the rest of us. Now, some of you may be thinking, hmm, I have to say that it's certainly in family court situations that you feel like they didn't do badly in family court. In fact, that you might remember that they kept it together while I fell apart. But I got to say, in many cases, especially if the other person in the divorce, the not narcissistic person, doesn't respond emotionally, the narcissistic person will definitely show their cracks. But ultimately, narcissistic people do not do well in any situation where they have to tone down their entitlement. And this can be milked for your advantage if you are on the opposing side. By the time things in any situation have progressed to a courtroom, they're pretty bad. They couldn't be mediated, couldn't have been fixed, right? It's gone to the ultimate place. So your calmness and your non-response will mean that the full onus is on the narcissistic person to keep it together. And the unyielding expectations of courtrooms often means that narcissistic people kind of crack. Over time, they just can't stop themselves. They'll roll their eyes, they'll shift in their seats, they'll fidget like a six-year-old, they'll mumble things under their breath, they'll start to get into it with the judge, they'll look menacingly at a jury, they'll get antagonistic and riled up with their attorneys. Courtrooms are interesting, right? Because they're places where there are swift and immediate penalties for the usual tantrums that the narcissistic people are able to get away with. By and large, narcissistic folks go through life tantruming, yelling at everyone from coffee shop clerks to their employees to their spouses and children when they don't get their way. And most people often give in to them because the alternative can be too scary and too noisy. But you don't have a bailiff and the authority of the court in your living room. Those tantrums don't work in courtroom settings. There are few other places that are like this. I mean, airplanes are sometimes like this, right? I mean, you have to sit down, you have to buckle your seatbelt, you have to have your seat up in the right position, you can't just walk out to the bathroom while the plane is taking off. But many a narcissistic person tries. And the reach of federal guidelines means that if a person acts up, the people who work on the plane have broad authority to get them removed and federal charges brought to bear. All of those plane meltdowns we see on social media or in the news, I'm willing to hazard a guess that the vast majority of those folks are people with narcissistic traits. Now, any time there is a requirement of accountability, and that's coupled with there being rapid consequences unyielding authority, clear rules of engagement, and above all else, that all of these things subvert the narcissistic person's entitlement and their sense of specialness, narcissistic people cannot handle it. In fact, the more entitled and powerful the narcissistic person is, the worse they are at following the procedures and rules of a place with very clear ones.
I I have to say I enjoyed following the news co coverage of that narcissistic person. It happened to be a big trial. Following the news coverage of that narcissistic person who simply could not keep it together in that courtroom. Because it's the one time that the narcissistic person has a worthy opponent who is more emboldened than him. In that case, the judge, right? Now, this person kept saying grandiose and entitled things, and the judge, not surprisingly, just kept getting angrier. It was literally like watching someone dig their own hole. And the fascinating thing is that narcissistic folks think that our justice system works brilliantly when it gives them what they want. But the first time a judge tells them to sh sit down and shut their mouths, they're screaming about how it's a travesty of justice. Now, narcissistic people still get away with a lot and somehow manage to get away with a lot, even in a courtroom. Again, we've, I've said this before, they have this uncanny ability to fly just under the radar of not breaking the law, but making other people miserable. And since we cannot prosecute someone for being an asshole, too often they do sort of win in terms of judgments, settlements, and sentences. That said, the one thing that narcissistic people are really not able to do is to abide by the court's behavioral expectations. So that means if you are going to face up against a narcissistic person in any courtroom setting, stay calm and let themselves ruin it for themselves. Stay calm, stay composed, be prepared. I'm not saying it's going to go your way, but left to their own devices. In the one place where their entitlement and emboldenment are stripped away in some ways, let them burn themselves down. It can only help your cause. And let me tell you, it makes for some great theater to watch a narcissistic person squirm, especially in a courtroom. And just one last thing. Just got to share this with you. I'm kind of proud of it. Just want to take a moment to let you know my new book's coming out. Check it out. Click the link. You can pre-order it now. It comes out in February, but I do hope you get it. It's all about healing. Thanks again.